Shadow on the Hearth is a science fiction novel by American writer Judith Merrill, originally published in hardcover by Doubleday in 1950. It was her first novel. A British hardcover was published by Sidgwick and Jackson in 1953, with a paperback following from Compact Books in 1966. Italian translations appeared in 1956 and 1992, a German translation was issued in 1982. It was included in Spaced Out, Three Novels of Tomorrow, a 2008 NESFA Press omnibus compiling all Merrill's novels the other two written in collaboration with Cyril M. Kornbluth. No American paperback of Shadow on the Hearth has ever been published, although a book club edition appeared. Shadow on the Hearth tells the story of a Westchester woman and her two children after the explosion of a series of atomic bombs on New York. Merrill described it as a very political novel, written for political reasons. Merrill began writing Shadow on the Hearth as a short story. When it reached 10,000 words, she remembered, I began to understand that it wanted to be a novel. Although she stopped working on the piece when it reached twice that length, needing to spend more time with her young daughter, Doubleday editor Walter I. Bradbury read the incomplete draft and bought the novel. Merrill quit her editorial job at Bantam to complete it. When she completed it, Doubleday imposed its own title avoiding any mention of nuclear war, revising the text to create a happier ending, and wrapping the novel in a nondescript dust jacket. On the cover was an attractive young mother, obviously in great distress. It could have been a gothic novel, Merrill later groused, or basically anything. In 1954, the Motorola TV Theater aired an adaptation of Shadow on the Hearth, retitled Atomic Attack. Topic: Reception. New York Times reviewer Charles Poor described Shadow on the Hearth as a rather chintzy account of what happened to a Westchester family when the atomic bombs began to burst through the American air, noting that Merrill concentrate s on the creation of believable leading characters, and concluding that the novel is generally entertaining reading, even if not always for the reasons intended by the author. Another Times reviewer, John Kornos, received the novel unfavorably, saying its story seems more like a somewhat uncomfortable picnic than a manifestation of a catastrophe. Genre reviewers viewed Merrill's effort more favorably. Groff Conklin described Shadow on the Hearth as a masterly example of sensitive and perceptive storytelling. Boucher and McComas praised it as a sensitively human novel, terrifying in its small-scale reflection of grand-scale catastrophe. P. Schuyler Miller found it a warm, human novel comparable to Earth Abides. Startling Stories declared that, "...its beautifully rendered interlocking series of incidents and events, creates an almost too vivid picture for the reader of what life in the very near future may become." Kenneth F. Slater wrote in Nebula Science Fiction that, the emotions you will find here are in places hard and brutal, not softly sentimental." Future science fiction, however, dismissed the novel for its "...true confession level of writing." More recent reviewers also rate the novel highly. Lisa Yashik writes that Shadow on the Hearth 
is one of the only post-war Holocaust narratives that manages to work its way out from under the paralyzing shadow of the mushroom cloud and to imagine the possibility of women, and men, working together to build a more peaceful and rational future." Judith Merrill, a critical study notes that Contemporary critics respect Merrill's novel for its originality in domesticating nuclear attack, hence the story's power and darkness." David Seed reports the novel is, "...universally praised, for its understated method, avoidance of melodrama and unusually oblique description of nuclear attack." M. Keith Booker declares that Shadow on the Hearth is a relatively daring novel and a useful corrective to the heroic vision of post-apocalypse life. <laughs> 